Hello everyone, my name is Suije Kalma Abad. Today, I'm going to make a video showing myself and my partner playing two different board games as part of our first exam. We're going to play chess, scrabble, and word factory. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first bird game we'll play is chess. Chess is a two-player bird game using a chessboard and 16 pieces of six types for each player. Each type of piece moves in this distinct way. The object of the game is to checkmate the opponent's king. Games do not necessarily end in checkmate. A player who expects to lose may resign. A game can also end in a draw in several ways. The first type of piece is the king. The king may move one square in any direction so long as no piece is blocking his path. Next is the queen. The queen may move any number of squares straight or diagonally in any direction. The rook may move in straight line, any number of squares horizontally or vertically. The bishop may move any number of squares diagonally. The only piece that can jump over a piece, be it your own or the opponent's, is the knight. And lastly, the pawn. The pawn in its first move may move either one or two squares straight forward. After knowing the pieces and its implication, we'll now play the game. I managed to check my 13, which means I am the winner of this game. We'll now proceed to the next board game, Scrabble. Scrabble is a word game in which 2 to 4 players score points by placing tiles, each bearing a single letter, into a game board divided into a 15 by 15 grid of squares. The tiles must form words that in crossword fashion, with left to right in rows or downward in columns, and be included in a standard dictionary or lexicon. The score of 228 and 214, I won this game. Implying the score, we added all the points that were accumulated, including the additional points. The last game will be Word Factory. Word Factory is a word search game for 2 to 8 players, in which players have a limited time to find words in a random selection of letters. Words found by more than one player are disqualified when scoring the game. The player with the highest number of eligible words wins. Time's up, and now we're tallying the score. I scored 2 points while my opponent gathered 5 points. It means 
she's the winner. We enjoyed playing these three board games that we had. After playing, we realized that it practically uses our mind to think wisely and find for a way to win the game. In the end, we are happy. The implication of involvement in these games as a student is that knowing these games, it requires a lot of strategy developing, quick thinking, analyzation of every possible situation, and understanding of the game. As a PE student, we can use this to make a lot of strategies, quick thinking, and creating possible ways by analyzing in order to survive. This will include all about in this video, and I hope you're happy as you watch this. Goodbye, and have a nice day.